i want to give you a quick overview to google drive we're going to be using it quite a bit this this year and uh, this might be a good reference for you to have i'm here at google.com um, the easiest way that i access drive is by going to google and selecting um, the drive icon or the drive link in the uh, upper navigation bar for center teachers, your sign in is going to be your center email address. Um, oops. So here is mine. And if I haven't already told you on other tutorials, I cannot type and talk at the same time. So anyway, um, I, here I am logged in. I'm going to uncheck to stay logged in. I do not want that option uh, for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, log into that. And this should direct me to my Drive account. And uh, so just a quick overview here of what it is that this uh, Drive looks like. Um, you'll notice right off that I have several documents that I put into my account, and they're all kind of listed here uh, in this middle area. Folders, various types of documents. We'll look at some of these in just a minute. It also gives you the owner. This is very useful, especially when you start to share documents either between colleagues or with, even with students. And then, of course, it has a last modified uh, column as well. And that also can be very helpful for when you're looking for um, a document that you've been working on. Um, the, there are several different um, oh, setting features, maybe. Uh, the display and density, you can play around with that. I like to see a lot of files all in, in uh, a compact area. So my preference, obviously, is compact. Play around with that and see what you think. Of course, there's other settings and a different keyboard shortcuts that you can look up and that sort of thing. But the one thing that I want to point out here is the upload setting. And we're going to talk about this here in just a minute. Um, but here's where it is that you can always go back and you can reestablish maybe how it is that you want um, documents to be uploaded into your Drive account. And like I said, we'll hit on that here in um, just a minute. Um, obviously, other options that you have, you have can have a grid view, which gives you a nice little preview. Um, that also can be nice when you're looking for a document and you've forgotten what you've titled it or whatever. Um, again, I like to see a lot of documents in a small area, so I just like to keep mine at, at, as a list view. Of course, there's different sorting features that you can use for uh, when a document might have been last edited, um, last modified, last open. You can see that from there. Um, so as we kind of work our way back over to some of the more important features in the Drive account, uh, let's take a look, first of all, at uploading documents. I would assume if you are new to Drive, you are not going to have documents in your Drive account. And uh, the easiest way for you to get some documents in there is going to be for you to upload what it is that you already have that you might want to be using with your students in your classroom. So here's the upload button. I'm just going to click that and it gives you the option to upload files or folders. I think that's pretty self-explanatory as to what it is that that does. Um, it's going to pop up and you're going to have a little navigation uh, field. I'm going to expand my computer and I'm going to jump right into my um, external um, storage device, uh, my external hard drive. And you can see that I have lots of folders in here um, that I would have available for update or for uploading. Um, of course, if I opened some of these folders, then I can, here's where you see folders within folders. Okay, you see where that's going. So um, select one of them. And then um, you can see the folder name that I've selected. And I'm just going to click OK. But remember the upload settings that we just looked at over here when we were looking at the um, just your generic setting options? Here it's giving you an option as to what it is, how it is, that you want your documents to be uploaded. Do you want to convert documents, presentations, spreadsheets, drawings, to the corresponding Google Docs format. And what that's going to do is it's going to take your Microsoft Word document and it's going to convert it into a Google Docs formatted document. This is going to be very important when you have a document that you are going to want your kids to work on on their Chromebook. Okay, so let's remember your Chromebook is only a Chrome internet browser. It is not going to be running 
um, Microsoft Office products on it. You can post a Word document and they'll be able to open it and view it, but they won't be able to type in it or edit it or fill out your document or anything like that. So obviously this option becomes very important when you are stopping to consider the different documents that you're going to want your students to have access to. Okay, obviously it does the same thing with PDF and uh, image files and also converts those into a Google document as well. Um, I would always suggest that this confirmation box stay checked, especially when you are stopping to consider the documents that you're going to be using with your kids and if you really do want Google Docs to convert that for you. Okay, I'm not going to upload this. I just wanted this, um, you know, I wanted to show you this so that you would know and what it does and what it's asking when you go to upload your own documents. So I'm going to cancel out of this. And I'll just close out of this little window right here. Okay. The second thing that's going to be important for you to know about different file formats in your Google Drive account is that documents that are developed with the Google document format, that those documents do not count against you with storage space in Google Drive. Okay, so that's gonna be huge as well, especially if you start to use Google Drive for your own um, storage of different documents. So um, let's talk here for just a minute. Um, well, actually, all right, so you can see that this is a Word document, right? My um, 215 PBL notes, the W indicates that it's a Word document, but this little box with the blue lines um, indicates that um, this actually is your Google format. So how do you create a Google document? Well, if we go up to our Create button and click on that, here's where you have options to create everything that you're going to need with your Google Drive account. So notice it has a solution for Microsoft Word. Presentation is just like PowerPoint. Spreadsheet is comparable to Excel. Form, I'm not real sure if Microsoft has anything that's comparable to Form, but it's a very, very easy surveying tool. Um, and when your users respond to that survey, all of their, their responses get dumped into a spreadsheet. So great for data manipulation and that sort of thing. And of course, drawing is comparable to, um, well, maybe um, publisher, but definitely uh, paint. So um, anyway, so when you click on one of them, it's automatically going to launch this um, document in the Google format. Now, the other thing about your Drive account and all of your Google, um, Google Docs are that everything's now in the cloud. And by in the cloud, we mean that it's specifically stored online. Notice that this document has a web address. And so instead of it being, you know, a .doc or a .xls or whatever, this is now an internet website, um, which is also going to be important when it comes time to sharing documents with your kids. But so notice it, this is just a plain old document. So let me start with this is my sample Google Doc. Okay. Um, and then, I mean, you, you can go through continue adding your text in the exact same way that you would with any other Microsoft document product. Notice that um, I can go through and I can change um, um, font. I can um, change the size. I can um, format it. It has justification options, um, bullets and numbers. Um, there's even an option up here for inserting a table. So now if you have something, an information matrix or something that you're going to develop for your kids, um, here's where um, you're going to put your information and start to build that table. The other great thing about everything that is done in your Google format is that it all automatically, almost instantaneously, gets saved into your Drive account. So I can close out of this and um, and it has automatically saved, and here it is down here at the bottom of um, my list and my untitled document. I can click on it, 
and it jumps me right back into that document um, with all of the save all of the saves <laughs> all of the changes saved without me purposely going in and um, saving. And actually, saving is, isn't even an option in that file menu. So, um, so anyway, the other documents are um, very similar. Just go to Create, select the document that you want. This should look pretty um, uh, familiar to you with PowerPoint. Oops, let me click OK. Sorry about that. And um, now you can go in, and I can um, continue to insert um, new slides. I notice you have a lot of different um, formatting options. Um, you get the idea with this. So, um, so this is a little bit about your Drive account. And um, start playing around with it. Uh, do some experimenting with it. See if it works for you. And let me know if you have questions.